Let us go little deeper in understanding the root cause of climate change. We already discussed the air pollution and deforestation. These are not cause of the climate change. Yes, they contribute a little bit, but the real fundamental problem is somewhere else. And you know what is that? The use of energy. Yes, you heard it right. Ever since we started using energy and particularly the carbon-based energy, the problem started. You know, somewhere up to 1800, we were all living 100% on renewable energy. We were using wind energy, biomass energy, hydro energy. But 1850, we started to industrialize ourselves. We started using coal. By 1900, we started using crude oil. And by 1950, we started using natural gas. And as a result of that, beyond 1950, our energy consumption exponentially grew. And today in 2025, what we are consuming? We are consuming coal, oil, gas, solar, wind, biomass, hydro, nuclear, so many sources. But you guess what? More than 80% of this energy still comes from three sources, coal, oil, and gas. The solar, wind, hydro, biomass, nuclear, they're all they are but very tiny fraction, all put together is only something like 15, 16, 17 percent of our global energy consumption. So the fundamental reason for climate change is use of carbon-based energy. And since more than 80 percent energy comes from these three carbon sources, it means that more than 80 percent of our day-to-day -day activity we are using carbon-based energy. And there is one thing common in these three sources, coal, oil and gas. What is common? The carbon. And every time when we burn carbon, whether we are burning carbon in kitchen in the form of LPG, or burning carbon in our vehicle in the form of petrol diesel, or burning coal in power plant. Every time when you burn carbon, it has one chemical reaction. What is that? Carbon plus oxygen, equal to carbon dioxide and energy and we are all using energy and this carbon dioxide is not a normal gas it is greenhouse gas and what is the job of greenhouse gas trapping heat so more carbon dioxide means more trapping of heat more trapping of heat means more global warming more global warming means more climate change i hope the relationship is clear real cause of climate change is consumption of energy and carbon emission. So we can say the real problem is this unchecked consumption of energy or we can say consumption itself. Why? Because when I'm brushing my teeth, I'm emitting carbon dioxide. I'm using energy. When I'm traveling, I'm using energy. When I'm working, I'm using energy. When I'm cooking food and eating, I'm using energy. For every single action and every single item, that we use in our day-to-day -day life is consumption of energy and emission of carbon dioxide. So it is the consumption that is the problem because behind consumption there is a carbon emission. So what does it mean? It is not the planet that needs fixing. It is the consumption that needs fixing. It is the consumption that has created the climate change. And that is why Climate change is not someone else's mess. It is yours, it is mine, and it is ours.